So yeah, we'll start with the other night and what a night that was for you and, and the boys, especially getting that 5-1 win. Yeah, it was good. Um, I was, you know, glad to come on the bench and help the team out, score a goal, even though like it was 4-1 four, four up and that. But obviously, um, disappointed that we can see conceded as well. Clean sheet, clean sheet would have been good as well, yeah, but I loved it to be fair, to be out there playing again, to be helping the team out. Yeah, so yeah, it was good. The game at Congleton on the Saturday obviously didn't go to plan, but was it important obviously coming back here to Mill Farm and just stay professional and got the job done? I think um should have got the job done down and got Congleton. Didn't give him a chance really. I think we should have been ruthless at times. Um with me and myself as well, having two opportunities as well, just to just, you know, not to give them hope or anything, you know, to snuff out any chance they should have had. You know, obviously we scored a little on with Nick with the free kick, but things like that shouldn't really happen to be fair. We should be beating teams like that, so but to come here at home, you know, to play in front of the fans as well was was decent as well, to be fair. And I think we showed what we were capable of doing. You got yourself on the score sheet. Just talk to me about that relief um, of finally getting your first goal. Uh, first, I, you know, the first couple of games, I was thinking, oh, this is this is a huge difference. Like, it's it's not going to be easy. Obviously, you know, playing from um, younger in Cardiff, you know, used to scoring and everything. And usually playing for games that don't really mean anything. They're just games to, you know, help your happy journey out but to play here and to score a goal and know how important it is as well and to show the play for every little thing, fight for every hit thing but yeah the goal was great yeah it felt it was a great feeling you know just to hear the crowds and that just scream, like just shout and scream was like still surreal to me now like do you know what I mean so but it was good yeah. We saw your celebration it's about time <laughs> would, you, yeah. would you say you wanted to get off the mark a little bit earlier then? Um, you yeah you know I was getting I was getting a bit frustrated at times you know you know, not getting his chances, not getting, not getting through sometimes, you know, but, you know, it's just like family and that and people in the club and everything told me just to be patient, you know, and everything just comes at once. So it was good to finally get a goal, you know, just feel more hungry now, really want to score more goals, want to, want to help the team out as much as I can possibly and, you know, make a name for myself here as well, to be fair. This is the first time we've had to chat since you've come into the club. Just how has it been settling into life at AFC Fowl? Um, Great. Honestly, I love it here. Never never smiled so much being at a club, to be fair. Um, the boys, the staff, everyone since the day I've come in here have been so helpful to me, you know. They've guided me, you know, to become not a kid anymore, to be a man, you know, because it's a men's sport, so. But I love it here, to be fair, yeah. It's a great club to be, yeah, it's a great club, yeah. What has your journey been like, obviously, to this point? Because before you came here, you, you struggled with quite a bad injury. Um, it was tough. It was very tough, you know, mentally, physically. It was a big hurdle in my life that I thought I had to um, jump over, and I thought I did well jumping over it. Um, you know, when things like that happen to you, it's unexpected and you don't know what to do and you feel lost, but got myself together, knew what I had to do, and make my dream come true, and that's what... That's what motivated me the most to make sure I made myself proud and, you know, to do as much as possible I can do, yeah. Broccoli tomorrow, we're 10 unbeaten now. Just what do we need to do to keep that run going? Um, to be fair, I think we've got a really good team. A really good team. I've, like, and I think we know exactly what we need to do, um, you know, defensively, attacking-wise attack mm -hmm. as well. I think it's possible, it possible we could be any team in this, in this league, to be honest, but... It's just, you know, keeping concentration together, helping each other out, um, motivating each other as well to know that we can do better. Because obviously it's like from the 5-1 win, boys were like still not as happy because we it was a 5-1, like, do you know what I mean? So, you know, just to know that everything you have to fight for and play for. So when we go to Brackley, it'll be a fight, like, yeah, so hopefully it'll be good, yeah. We sit in two games against Congleton, obviously there's been rotation in the squad. Is it important to have that competition for places in, in every position? Yeah, yeah, I think it is important because, you know, um, no one's complacent, really. So if you, don't keep, if you don't keep playing well, then you won't start. But I think also the competition as well is very um, it's healthy. It's nothing, it's nothing too bad about it. And I like the competition as well, show what I'm worth and prove myself and prove the boys as well what I'm capable of doing. For you now, going forward, is it just about adding more goals to your tally and, and getting on the score sheet more um, Obviously, getting on the score sheet would be great. Scoring goals is what I love to do, to be fair. Um, but learning more, you know, there's always more to learn. There's um, even, like, from an attacker, learning more from the defenders, what they hate, what, what's easy for them. So just getting more experience in, because, you know, obviously, being 19 is a, it's a bit tough, like, do you know what I mean? We're playing against grown men, so... 
you know, just to learn more, score more and be a better football player.